you can draw this in Procreate. During this Procreate tutorial, we are going to create this colorful illustration. You don't need any experience with Procreate or with drawing at all. Actually, this type of illustration looks better when the lines are a little bit wonky. So for this tutorial, it's time to let go of perfectionism and just have fun with these colors and patterns. Once you have reached the end of this tutorial, you have ended up with a colorful and cheerful illustration, which I'm sure you will want to share with the world. So if you are sharing it on Instagram, then do be sure to tag me in the image, not just in the description, so I will be able to find your work and maybe we will see it in the next video. Just like these awesome results from my friends at Patreon. Patreon is the happy place you can go if you need more Procreate tutorials, because there I have over a hundred ranging from beginner levels to more advanced levels. Now let's get started with this tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to get my free brushes by going to freefromflow.com. For all of you who are already subscribed to the weekly newsletter, be sure to grab the new brush that I have added to the treasure chest brush pack. And then if you're already, go ahead and grab your pencil or your finger and let's get started. The canvas we're using is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels. Color profile is set to sRGB and I have created a color palette which is linked in the description and which you can get for free of course. But do feel free to use your own colors for this colorful piece of course. Now we are going to start this illustration by creating some random box-like shapes and I would like to do that with the fine liner brush. You can find it in the free treasure chest brush pack. Here we have the fine liner brush and we are going to make random shapes with different colors. But to be able to place some patterns on these shapes later, we are going to use different layers for these shapes. And let's start in the foreground. First, we are going to grab a color. We'll use this one over here. It's the last color in the first row. And the brush is at 100% opacity. We don't want any transparent buildings. And the size of the brush is at 10%. And first, we are going to make a boxy shape here. You can hold your pen in place to straighten the lines and you can drag in the color to fill this area. You might need to adjust your color drop threshold though. So if you drag in the color, you might need to drag to the right. And I can't drag a whole lot here because we are in this corner, but you need to make sure that you don't get any like light edges. Sometimes you need to go over those areas a little bit but adjusting your color drop threshold can help. Then we are going to grab our next color, this pink one over here, fifth color in the first row. And we are going to make another shape here in this corner, just like this. Hold your pen in place. You might want to tap over here to be able to adjust the corners a little bit. And then you can drag in the color. You can adjust the color drop threshold just until you are at that point where it nearly spills all over. Next, we'll make a new layer because we are going towards the background. We want a building behind this one. Doesn't look like a building yet, but we'll get there. Now let's tap the plus for a new layer and drag it underneath our first layer. Then for our color, we'll grab this yellow second color in the first row. And I'll make another boxy shape over here. Hold your pen in place. You might need to adjust it. Just make sure the top of the roof it's pretty much flat. Then tap the brush to get the brush again. And then make sure that behind here that you loop to the bottom so you can drag in the color to fill it. Then we'll go behind this building. We'll make another layer by tapping the plus and we'll drag this underneath as well. And then we'll grab this blue. That's the eighth color in the first row. And let's make a boxy shape over here. Hold your pen in place and then drag in the color. If your color spills all over, then make sure that your lines go all the way to the bottom. And for another shape, let's grab this pink again, fifth color in the first row. Start all the way here at the bottom, go up like this and then to the side, hold your pen in place and then drag in the color. Now we'll go one layer behind this one. So again, we'll tap the plus, drag this underneath and this time let's grab this yellow again. Second color in the first row. We'll start a little bit higher here. Let's zoom out a little bit. A little bit higher here and then downward. Hold your pen in place and drag in the color. Next we'll switch 
to this green. The darker green is the ninth color in the first row. Let's start over here, drag a line up and to the side. Hold your pen in place. You might need to tap triangle here, adjust it a bit. You can play around with these handles and then drag in the color. And let's do another one. Let's grab that yellow again, second color in the first row. Well, we are going to make a shape over here. We can do that over here. Hold your pen in place and then make sure that you close the shape towards the side and then drag in the color. Then we'll go ahead and make a new layer, which will be behind this one. So tap the plus and drag it underneath our other layer. Then we'll grab this orange third color in the first row. We'll go a little bit higher over here and then to this area, go all the way down, hold your pen in place and then drag in the color. Now let's make another house with this light greenish color, 10th color in the first row. Let's start about here, go upward to the side and then downward, hold your pen in place. You might need to adjust it a little bit and then tap the brush and do make sure that you close the shape and then drag in the color. Now I'll make another layer. We are nicely filling our canvas. Let's tap the plus, drag it underneath, then grab a different color. Let's grab this blue over here, the eight color in the first row. And let's first make a building over here. Go down, hold your pen in place. Make sure you close the shape towards the side and then drag in the color. Now let's make another one over here. Go upward like this and to the side and downward. Hold your pen in place and make sure to close the shape and then drag in the color. Then let's grab the orange third color in the first row and let's add that over here. Hold your pen in place to make a straight line, close it towards the side and then drag in the color. Now we just need a few more shapes. Let's make another layer by tapping the plus. Just tap and hold and drag it underneath. And then we'll grab the pink again, fifth color in the first row. Let's make a little house over here, straight line here. Then loop around to close the shape and drag in the color. Now let's create another layer behind this one. So let's tap the plus, drag that underneath, and this time we'll grab that 10th color again, that nice greenish color. Make a shape like this, hold your pen in place. You might need to adjust it, make it a bit more straight, and then drag in the color. And let's make a yellow shape. We'll grab the second color and the first row. Let's make a shape over here. Hold your pen in place. You might need to edit your shape and then drag in the color. And let's make another layer. Let's tap the plus, drag it underneath. And this time we'll grab this darker green ninth color in the first row. Make a little shape over here, drag in the color. Then we'll grab this orange third color in the first row. Let's make a shape over here. And let's go up here and then drag in the color. And then for the final layer, let's tap the plus, drag the layer underneath, and then let's grab the yellow, the second color in the first row. Let's fill this area and let's grab the pink, the fifth color in the first row. And let's use that for this area. Drag it in. And now we have all our basic shapes for our buildings. Next thing we'll do is add some patterns. Let's start with our first layer that we have created. To add a pattern to it, we are going to turn on alpha lock. So tap the layer and then tap alpha lock and then go ahead and grab the pattern that we need. We are going to use the cab B pattern. And for the color, we are going to use this one over here, the ninth color in the first row. The opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is at 15%. And now with just one stroke without lifting your pen, go over this building to add this pattern to it. Then we'll move on 
let's go to this layer. Let's tap it and turn on alpha lock. And then for our color, we'll grab this one over here. That's the seventh color in the first row. And now let's go over this building. Don't lift your pen and make sure you don't go over the pink building over here. For that building, we are going to use a different pattern. We are going to use the signs pattern. And for the color, we are going to use this one over here. That's the sixth color in the first row. The opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is at 26%. And then let's go over this building without lifting your pen to add this pattern. Then we'll move towards the back. We'll go to layer four, we'll tap it and we'll turn on alpha lock and we'll go back to the campy pattern. And for the color, we are going to grab the 10th color in the first row. And then we'll go over this building. Don't lift your pen. Now these brushes are part of my pattern brush pack. So if you want to use more patterns, then you can go and check that out. And let's switch to this orange, the third color in the first row. And we'll use that for this building. Now let's move on. Let's go to this layer over here. Let's tap it, turn on alpha lock. And for the brush, we are going to use the signs brush again. And for the color, we are going to grab the seventh color over here, the dark blue and go over this building. Then let's move to the back. Let's go to layer seven again, turn on alpha lock switch to the other pattern brush and switch to the dark pink, the sixth color in the first row. And then go over this building. Now just a few more buildings to go. Let's go to this layer over here. Let's tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then let's grab the orange color, the third color. And for the brush, we will use the science brush again, and then we'll go over this building. Then let's move on to this layer, layer nine. This is the last layer we are going to add patterns to. Let's turn on alpha lock. Then let's switch to this light color, the 10th color in the first row. And let's go over this building. Then switch to the campy brush and switch to this red color here, fourth color in the first row and go over this building. Now we are going to switch back to the fine liner brush and we are going to use it to add a little bit of perspective to some of these buildings. Nothing realistic, but it'll add some variation and some more depth to our illustration. And you know what? Let's start in the back. Let's start behind this layer. Let's first tap layer 10, then let's tap the plus, And then first we'll use this red. And we are going to use it to add a little bit of perspective to this building. So first we'll make a diagonal line like this. And then we'll go downward. Just hold your pen in place to make a straight line. Then make sure to close the shape and then you can fill it. We'll do the same for this building, but this time we'll use the orange. So that's the third color in the first row. Again, we'll make a diagonal line. Then we'll go downward. Hold your pen in place for a straight line. Then make sure to close the shape and then you can fill it. So for buildings on the right side of the illustration, the diagonal line will go in this direction. And for buildings on this side, the diagonal line will go in this direction. And you can just pick a few random buildings to add this effect to. I also want to add it to this building and this one. Let's check on what layer we need to be. We can do that on a layer on top of this one. So first tap this layer, then tap the plus. And then let's grab this darker green ninth color in the first row. And let's zoom in a little bit here and make a diagonal line again. Then go downward, hold your pen in place. Make sure to close the shape and then drag in the color. And for this one, we need to be on a layer that's on top of this yellow building with the pattern and below the layer with this building. So let's check where we have that. Here we have the layer with that building. So we need to be below that. So first tap this layer and then tap the plus. And then let's get out of here. And then we can zoom in 
make a little diagonal line, go downward, but I can see that we are on top of the blue building. That's not super handy, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just make a shape like this, drag in the color. And now we need to get rid of this area where we went over that blue building. So that's on this layer, actually. Let's tap it, then use select. And then we can go back to this layer that we have just created, tap it and use clear. I can see that it's nice and clean. Now let's continue. Let's add a shadow to this building. That building is on this layer, as you can see. So we need a layer below that. So first tap layer seven, then tap the plus. And then for the color, grab this one over here, seven color in the first row. And make a diagonal line again. Then go downward, loop around. Again, we are on top of that other building. So we need to use our fix again. First tap this layer, use select, then go back to this layer, tap it and use clear. So again, it's nice and clean. Now let's also add that perspective to this building over here, that yellow one that's on this layer. So let's make a layer underneath it then tap the plus. Then for the color, we'll grab this orange, the third color in the first row. And then let's make a diagonal line, then move downward. Make sure you close the shape and then drag in the color. I also want some perspective on this building. That's the orange one that's over here. So we can actually make that on this layer as well. So let's grab the red fourth color in the first row. And let's make a diagonal line over here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Diagonal line, then move downward, loop around to close the shape and then drag in the color. Next, I want to add some perspective to this building. So let's make sure we are underneath that. Here we have that building so we can make a layer on top of this one. So tap the plus, then grab that darker pink sixth color in the first row. So let's make a diagonal line, then move downward, hold your pen in place, then loop around to close the shape and then drag in the color. Next, let's add some perspective to this building, the yellow one. Let's check it out. Where do we have it? That's on this layer. So we need a layer underneath it. So we can work on this layer again. Let's grab the red this time, fourth color in the first row. Let's make a diagonal line, then move downward, close the shape, and then drag in the color. Then let's move to this building over here. That's all the way in the front. So we can make a layer on top of this one by tapping the plus. Then we can grab this ninth color in the first row. We can make a diagonal line, move downward, hold your pen in place, loop around, and fill the shape. Now, if you are having issues, if you are running out of layers, then you can definitely start merging the layers that are at the bottom. Like these, you could definitely merge those. We don't need them to be separate anymore. So that way you can continue following this tutorial. Now, let's also add some perspective to this final pink building. We can stay on this layer. Let's grab this sixth color in the first row. And again, let's add a little diagonal line and then move downward, hold your pen in place, a loop around to close the shape and then fill it. Now we have all our buildings with a little perspective and now we can actually merge all of these layers. You just pinch them together so you have one layer with all your buildings. Now the fun part begins. Now we are going to add all the windows and the doors and the plants and it'll really bring this scene to life. Let's start by creating loads of windows. Let's tap the plus for a new layer. That way you can always erase parts of that layer or move windows around when you need to. Just don't worry too much because like I said, you don't need a clean illustration here. If lines are a little bit wonky, it'll just add interest to your illustration. Now for the brush, we'll still be using the fine liner brush. And for the color, we are going to use this color over here, first color and the second row. 
And we are just going to create a variation of windows. Let's start here. Let's make a window like this with an arch. And it doesn't have to be clean, just something like this. You can drag in a color, fix the edges a bit. Over here, we can make a rectangular window. Just something like this. Drag in the color. Then over here, let's make two long rectangles. You can see my lines are a little bit wonky too. Try to make them approximately the same size. Then drag in a color. And if you do want to tidy them a little bit, then you can tap and hold the eraser to make it switch to the fine liner brush as well. And then you could go along the edges and you can also hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick line. And then you could adjust them a little bit. Just don't make it too clean. Then grab the brush again and let's go to this orange building. Let's make some of these windows with arches here as well. Maybe two right next to each other. Drag in the color. Then over here we can make a little circular window. And perhaps here we can just see the underside of a window. Drag in the color. Over here let's make two small rectangles with a little space in between. Drag in the color again. Maybe this one could be a little bit higher. And over here, let's make a long rectangle again. And of course you can use the quick line every once in a while. Let's make a big arched window here. And you don't have to make it exactly the same as I'm making it here. Of course you can vary. Perhaps you have ideas for other type of windows or other type of doors. We will make these long rectangles. Just like this. Drag in the color. And perhaps use the eraser to adjust it a little bit. And let's grab the brush again over here. I would like to add a little circular window again. Of course, you can hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen to make it perfectly round. Not necessary though to make it perfect. Over here, let's make another rectangular window. Drag in the color. And over here, maybe we can make some very long stretched arched windows. Just trying to vary the shapes a bit to add some interest to our illustration. We can make the bottom part a little bit more straight by using the eraser. Then grab the brush again. Over here, I want another circular window just to vary things up. Maybe over here as well. Drag in the color. Well, just the edge a little bit. Then over here, we might have a window which we can't fully see. We just have an arch here. Then over here. Let's make a window like this. Drag in the color to fill it. I'm going to cut off the edges a little bit. 
want it to be a little bit smaller. Then finally for this building, let's make these arched windows again. Two right next to each other. Drag in the color. And then let's see, maybe also some rectangular windows over here. And a small one over here. And maybe also some windows with a darker blue. Let's grab this color, the eight color in the first row. And let's add a dark blue window over here. Just to balance things a little bit, add more color variety. Maybe two square little windows over here. And then let's switch to this white color, second color and the second row. And we are going to add nice edges to our windows. Now you could make a new layer for this so you can make adjustments to these lines, but I'm just going to work on the same layer living on the edge. Let's make some edges around our windows. Follow the lines and then you can add some extra lines like this for this window and of course you can use the quick line if you need to make straight lines just don't do it all the time try to make some little more wonky lines as well because i think when you make it super clean an illustration like this it'll just look less appealing so this is the perfect way to let go of perfectionism, in my opinion. Let's follow this outer edge. And over here, let's make two lines. Then we have these windows. We'll just go along all the windows, adding these lines. and adding variation to our illustration here. And over here, let's make a vertical line. And then one through the center. And over here. This one is a little bit shorter, so let's add two lines here. Then we have these arched windows over here. Let's make a line like this and then these diagonal lines. And you can look up uh, real windows, of course, perhaps on Pinterest, you can find some inspiration if you want to create different types of windows. Over here, we have this window of which we can only see a part. Then these windows, let's add a vertical line in the center. Then we have this one. Two lines. We have this big arched window. Let's make a line over here. We can make a little semicircle. And then these diagonal lines and these lines. Now we have these long arch windows. Again, let's add some interest here. Horizontal line, long vertical line. And just do that for the rest of the windows as well. And for some of the windows, I actually want to use black. So let's switch to the third color in the second row. And for these darker windows, well, this one I want to leave alone. For this one, I want to add a dark outline. And 
and for these as well. And maybe a cross. So right now we have a nice variety for our windows. Now let's add the doors and shutters for some of the windows. Let's start with red, the fourth color in the first row. And we can stay on the same layer as the windows actually. Let's start over here. I want to add a little door here. Just a rectangular door. Trying to not go over the building. If you do go over the building, then of course you can just switch to the eraser. Then over here, I'll make an arch door. Just like this, drag in the color. And for this window, I would like to make red shutters. So just rectangular shape right next to the window. Drag in the color. And we can make a door over here. There will be a little balcony here. So let's make a rectangular door. Drag in the color. Then let's switch to pink. Let's make some pink doors. This color over here, sixth color in the first row. Let's make a pink door over here, an arch door like this. Drag in the color. Then another pink door over here. Let's, let's use that lighter pink, the fifth color in the first row. And let's make a rectangular door here. Drag in the color. Then let's switch to the blue. Let's use the eighth color in the first row. You can really vary with these colors and with the shapes of the doors. Make an arch here. Let's make another arch door over here for a balcony. Then let's also use the yellow second color in the first row. Maybe we can add a little balcony door over here by drawing a rectangle, dragging the color, then an arch door over here. Dragging the color and we can use the eraser perhaps to remove a little bit over here so that it's not covering the green building too much. Now let's grab the brush again. I want a door over here. Drag in the color. Perhaps clean it up a little bit here at the bottom. And grab the brush again. Let's see, where can we use another door? I want another blue door over there. So let's grab that eight color again. And let's make a rectangular door here where we can make another balcony. Let's drag in the color. Then maybe an orange door over here. Let's grab the orange third color in the first row. Let's make a rectangular door over here. Drag in the color. Now I just want to add some shutters over there. Let's grab this ninth color in the first row. And let's add some shutters to these windows, just small rectangular shapes. On both sides. Just 
just to add some interest here as well. And now just like with the windows, we are going to add some more. I'll choose the eraser to clean it up just a little bit. And just like with the windows, we are going to add some interest to our doors and our shutters by painting on top of them. Let's start here at the top with this door. Let's first grab the white second color in the second row. Want to add a little outline for this door. And then I want to grab the orange, the third color in the first row to add a little pattern, a vertical line. Now perhaps two ovals here. I also want to use this orange on these shutters over here. Let's just make these horizontal strokes on both of the shutters. And then for this door as well, let's make an outline. And then a vertical line in the center and perhaps some rectangles on each door. Maybe a little square here. You can just make a little pattern. And let's switch to the red, the fourth color in the first row. Let's use that for this door, for example. Let's first make an outline. Then let's make a vertical line in the center and then let's add a little pattern again. Maybe a big arch on each side. Maybe a little dot in here. Then let's move to this door. Let's make another pattern here. First an outline, then a line like this, a bit like the windows. Maybe some semi-circles here and for this door let's add a vertical line first and perhaps these lines for this door we can use the red as well make these mirrored shapes you can really look at real life doors to get inspiration for this. And then this door over here. Let's make these long like arches. Circle here, circle there, another circle here and here, and then a shape like this in between. And over here. Now we can add an outline with black. So we'll grab that third color in the second row and we'll add a little outline for this door. In your illustration, you want a nice balance of those black colors, of the black and of the white. You want it to be evenly spread out across your illustration. Let's add an outline here as well. Let me switch to the dark blue, the seven color in the first row. We're going to use that for this one. And then we'll make these vertical lines. And we use the blue for this door as well. Horizontal line here. Let's make these semicircles, vertical line, and two little squares or rectangles. But then let's move on to this one. This still needs a little pattern. First, the outline. And then let's just add 
two of these shapes. Not sure what these shapes should be called. Do we have all the doors? No, we still need to add something there. Let's use pink for that. Let's use the dark pink, the sixth color in the first row. And over here, let's first make an outline. Then a vertical line. And then these horizontal strokes. Oh, and we also need to do these. Let's use blue for that one. We'll grab the dark blue, seven color in the first row, and add some horizontal lines here as well. Next, let's balance those blacks by adding some fences, some railings to the balcony. So we are going to switch to black. Let's just, let's just stay safe and make a new layer for these. So let's tap the plus. And for instance, let's add a little railing over here. Pretending that this is a little balcony. And we can, oh. There's something missing here. I guess I have accidentally undid that. Let me fix that. Now let's continue. Let's make a little fence over here. Make a line all the way to this area. Go down and a line on the underside. And also a line here along that diagonal line. And then let's make vertical lines. Try to keep an equal distance between these lines. So you get something like this. Then let's also add a little fence over here between these blue buildings. Line on the underside. And again, Make these vertical lines, try to keep an equal distance. We have a little bit of space here, let's make an extra one. Then over here on top of our blue building, like this, then we'll follow the diagonal line, make a vertical line towards that corner, line over here. And then we need to make the vertical lines again. From left to right, equal distance, and some on this side. Then another one over here in front of this door. Vertical lines. Then let's make another one over here. Again, we are going to follow that perspective. First, we'll go towards this yellow building. Then we'll go down towards that corner again. And then here we'll follow the diagonal line and move down and back to the corner. And then we'll make these vertical lines again. Over here, we can make a little balcony. So first, a horizontal line, then go up. We're making it a little bit broader than the door. Now let's first make one in the middle, then we'll go in the center here, and then we'll make another line in each center. Now let's do the same over here. First, a line that is wider than the door. Then we'll go up, another line, and then we'll add the vertical lines. Then we have this one over here. Again, horizontal line that is wider than the door. Go up on both sides, another line. And then the vertical lines. Finally, this one. Again, we'll make a little balcony. Move up, another horizontal line, 
and then we'll make the vertical lines. I think we have a nice balance of the black now. It is pretty much evenly spread out, giving our illustration a nice balance. I do see I forgot one of the doors, this one over here. It escaped my attention, so let's go back to layer two here. Let's grab the dark blue, seventh color in the first row. And let's add a little pattern there as well. Let's follow the outline. Another semicircle and some of these diagonal lines. There, that's better. And this is already looking great, but we are going to add some extra to the scene. We are going to add some plants. This city needs some greenery. So first, let's create some pots. Let's just, let's just be safe and do that on a new layer on top of the others by tapping the plus. And then let's grab this color over here, the first color in the first row. And let's add a pot here, for example. Just a simple shape like this. Nothing too fancy. Let's also add a pod over here. A little bit rounded at the bottom. Horizontal at the top. You can drag in the color to fill it if you like, or you can just color it in by hand. Then let's also add a pod over here. We have some nice space here. Color it in. You could also make a bit of a rectangular pot, of course. You can vary it a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit longer. Just use some simple shapes. We can add a little pot over here. Color it in or drag in a color to fill your shape, of course. And let's also add a little one over here. Then we are going to add the plants. Just so that we don't have to worry about the pots too much, we can put those on a layer underneath the pot, so that way we won't be able to paint over the pots. Let's first tap layer 3, then tap the plus, and then let's grab this color over here, fourth color, in the second row. And then let's add some leaves, some pointy leaves here perhaps. You know, you know what? We can make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 6% to make some nice pointy shapes. Create a simple plant. We can drag in a color to fill it and use continue filling and then just tab these areas to fill everything. I still have a little gap here. Let me just grab the brush and paint over. Then over here, let's make a little cactus. Just make these circular shapes or ovals. We can go over the door a little bit. Make these connecting circles. Make them smaller towards the top, but you, you can add a bigger one on top of a smaller one. Then over here, let's give this some broader leaves. Try to make a variation of simplified plants. Drag in the color, tap continue filling, and fill these areas. And I'll grab the brush to just go over some of the areas where we still have little gaps. Here, I'll make these pointy leaves again, these longer leaves. Something like this, drag in the color, tap continue filling, and fill these areas. And with the brush, correct everything that needs correcting. Then finally over here, let's add another cactus by creating these oval shapes on top of each other. Just 
do make sure they connect. No floating cacti. Yeah, something like this. Now let's also add a few plants in front of some windows. We'll just make some of these rounded shapes. A bit like little clouds. Drag in the color. Just in front of the bottom part of the window. This one as well. Drag in the color. And again, just like with the black colors, try to, to balance it a little bit. Try to spread the plants evenly over your little city. So that the colors are balanced all over. Then over here as well. Just a simple, like a childish cloud shape. And there's nothing wrong with childish cloud shapes. They look awesome in an illustration like this. And we can all make this. I think we have enough green. We just need to add a few extra touches to these plants. We are going to use this fifth color in the second row for that. And we are going to use it to add some lines, some outlines here along the leaves. Just like this, follow the outlines and you can add some extra lines on the inside, just like this. Let's start with the plants in the pot and then we'll end with the plants in front of the windows. Some short spikies on our cactus, just in random directions, short little strokes. And this plant, it has those broader leaves. Just like this. And then on the inside, you can add those leaf veins. And we have another cactus over here. So again, we'll make these short little strokes, not just on the outside of the shape, but also on the inside, just random directions. Just like this. And then we'll move to this one. Again, make some outlines for these long leaves. And then eventually you can add these lines on the inside. And then we'll move to the plants in front of the windows. Here we are just going to add some of these semicircles. Let's, let's make the brush a bit bigger again, actually, to 10%. So just some of these little dabs, little semicircles. Well, they don't really look like semicircles, but it's a bit of like the movement I'm making. Like little rounded shapes. It's just a short rounded stroke randomly across our little bush that's in front of the window. And finally this one. And that's it actually. 
you have reached the end of this tutorial and you ended up with a colorful and cheerful illustration. Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you had just as much fun with this as I had. If you did, then do be sure to let me know. And perhaps you are so excited that you want to turn this into a drawing streak. So maybe you can follow this tutorial next. I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time for the next tutorial.